My family loves spending time at museums, and who knew it was also healthy for us? Joining me now is Laura Hales, Curator of Education, with more on how art can be beneficial to your health. Welcome, Laura. Thank you so much. Nice to be here. Tell us, how can art be beneficial to your health? The connection of arts and healing has been known to be good for health for many centuries and through many cultures, but now we have the scientific proof to back it up that it really is good for your health. Engaging in arts activities lowers your stress levels and anxiety levels, which in turn boosts your immune system. It also helps depression, which goes along with many chronic and fatal diseases. So you have something here called the Memory Lounge. What is that? The Memory Lounge is a new program we have here at Scottsdale Arts. It's sponsored by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Arizona, and it is designed for people with mild to moderate memory loss through dementia and their care partners. They come here on a monthly basis and they engage in a docent-led interactive tour through our museum, and that is followed by a workshop led by a practicing professional artist who has been trained in dementia to engage with arts with people in this population. Now Laura, you have specific art disciplines that are featured during the memory workshops. Explain to us why is it important to feature more than just the visual arts? The visual arts are important, but other arts disciplines have been proven to be effective as well. For example, they're doing wonderful things with music and Alzheimer's disease because music is the last memory that the brain holds on to during this disease. Who would benefit from the Memory Lounge? Well, I think the people who have uh, dementia, mm -hmm. as well as their care partners, benefit equally from the Memory Lounge. Uh, you know, it's something they can put on their schedule that's not a medical appointment, and they are doing so much of that. It's a creative, engaging, fun thing to look forward to. Are there ways that we can benefit from art at home? Oh, absolutely. And I think that the more deeply you engage, the better the benefits mm -hmm. are. For example, you can passively listen to music, and depending on the music you're listening to, it's going to have an impact on your emotional state. But learning how to play a new instrument, or learning how to sculpt or paint, mm -hmm. these are things that science has proven can stave off diseases like Alzheimer's disease. Thank you so much for sharing. If you'd like more information on these programs or on the museum, just head over to their website.